Okay, so this video is going to be a little bit of a departure from my normal author video in that um, I want to help you know a little bit more about me. So here are 10 facts that you might not know about me, Alan Stedham. So first off, I am a descendant of Benjamin Franklin on my mother's side of the family. Very serious. Um, let's see, the first career I ever wanted to have was to be a journalist. I actually started learning journalism in middle school, uh, continued in high school, won a few awards, and started in college, but I uh, got to kind of see a little bit about how things were in the bullpen as you got into the college level. It sort of gave me a view of how things might be. Uh, in the real world, and no offense to uh, actual journalists and former journalists, I just decided that it wasn't for me to use my skills that I'd learned in other ways, which eventually led me down the path of an author. Um, okay, another thing is that uh, in 1997, I helped form a not-for-profit organization called the International Size Acceptance Association. And uh, I helped run that organization as its director for 18 years uh, between 1997 and 2015. Uh, in a nutshell, the organization was created to help uh, inform and educate the public on size and weight related issues. Um, it was to encourage uh, health at every size and also to discourage uh, discrimination. I took on a number of different forms. Um, we did some pretty groundbreaking stuff actually um, in terms of using uh, the still fairly early internet in 1997. Uh, 1998 we had a travel blog before blogs existed um, or at least they were in the very 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 early <laughs> stages. Um, uh, I got to help run two different podcasts um, and they weren't called podcasts yet. Um, we actually started off with uh, the Isa Rapport, which we called Size Acceptance Radio Online, and I actually co-hosted that um, with uh, Gia Marciano for a couple of years from 2002 to 2004. Um, and then there was Podwam, which was short for Podcast Without Measure. Uh, Without Measure was the name of Eza's uh, electronic magazine, or Ezine, um, and decided to make a solo podcast called Podwam, and that ran from 2006 to 2010. Um, during Podwam, um, and actually during all the podcasts, we interviewed people, um, but uh, in 2009, I got to interview the late Leonard Nimoy who was the original Mr. Spock on Star Trek. And uh, that was, uh, I consider that a once in a lifetime opportunity and privilege, and it was a really amazing experience. Um, something else that was kind of cool um, is that I was interviewed along with Gia for the documentary, Super Size Me. And um, both Gia and I appear in the deleted scenes on that DVD. Um, Isa gets a special thanks in the credits of the film, and uh, I have a listing as myself at imdb.com. <laughs> you can look it up. Um, another fact, uh, I taught myself to play the electric bass guitar, acoustic and electric guitar, and the piano uh, around age 16. That's when I started. Um, I also taught myself to uh, sing and to write songs. I went to the recording studio in Austin and um, put together a solo album between 1988 and 1990. Uh, that was kind of more for the personal satisfaction than anything else. I, I really had the desire to, to write those songs and I uh, was really driven to put that album together. Uh, it, it ended up actually leading to me uh, joining a rock and blues band at that time as their uh, bass player and uh, backing vocalist and uh, gave me a lot of neat experiences uh, both in the studio and out of the studio and um, you know eventually led to uh, 
taking those experiences and uh, being in the uh, Christian band uh, that my wife Angela and I uh, belong to called First Light. And we joined that band in 1997 and we are still part of that band, still making music 23 years later. Um, speaking of my wife, um, I was proposed to by her uh, three days before Christmas in 1992. And the last little trivia fact about me, in 2014, I started taking sky pictures, including sunsets, sunrises, interesting cloud shots, and the like, almost exclusively through my iPhone, and I post them to my Instagram. And uh, that's just something that I like to do. Um, <laughs> I take pictures just whenever you know, whenever I see something interesting, I, I try and snap a shot of it. Not always convenient because, uh, you know, I'm not going to do that while driving or something like that. But um, I try to whenever I see something, you know, really cool and post it. So uh, that's a little bit about me. And uh, I hope you found it interesting. Uh, you know, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please uh Please leave your comments. I will be happy to respond to them. And as always, uh, please uh, like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel, and share the videos if you like them. And uh, we'll see you next time.